Hello, welcome to you, Mrs B's podcast, episode number three. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mrs B the Knitter. My name is Sarah and thank you for joining me on this rather dismal and dark Monday morning. Um, it's the 18th of January. I really wanted to post something um, the first week of January, but <clears throat> as you can probably hear, I've been a little bit poorly and so I've, I've left it until I've had the energy to do it and so that people can actually understand what I'm saying I'm not croaking all over the place as usual I've got Miss Hattie here who uh, has come to join me <laughs> she's in a particularly wriggly mood this morning um, it's been a bit the weather hasn't been great so we haven't had a lot of walks in the past couple of days so she's full of lots of energy so I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a really good new year. Um, we went up to Scotland to spend um, Christmas with my sister-in-law, so that was lovely. And um, yeah, now it's back to the real world. So, um, finished objects. I do have some, I've actually finished stuff. Um, I finished the little baby cardigan that um, I showed you in the last episode. That has already been gifted so I can't show it to you um, but I did finish it and um, it should fit her just nicely um, for the end of January just when it's getting really cold. The other finished objects. My Christmas Eve cast on socks are done and blocked and washed so I don't know if you can see the colour properly. Um, it's a custom colourway from Felt Fusion on Etsy inspired by this little madam this is you in sock form <laughs> so uh, I tried an eye of partridge heel for the first time and I'm really pleased with how they've come out and they're so soft it's super wash merino and bamboo um, and they're for me which is fun I haven't made myself anything for quite a long time so yay um, I have set myself the challenge of making 12 pairs of socks in 2016 um, one for each month um, some of them will be for me some of them will be for other people but uh, these are mine yay so I'm looking forward to wearing those for works in progress I've tried to cut down on how many I have going at a time um, some of the ones from the end of last year have been hibernated um, because I wasn't enjoying them and I've decided that 2016 is going to be the year of enjoyment my husband and I are finally getting to go on honeymoon two and a bit years after we get, got married so um, 2016 is, is going to be the year of enjoyment and I really want to enjoy everything that I'm working on so if I'm not enjoying it it is getting hibernated until I can find the energy to enjoy it. So works in progress. The first one is some simple house slippers which is a free pattern on Ravelry by I want to say Temple Knits but I'll put it in the show notes. Um, this is being knit in Blacker Yarns DK and I can never pronounce it properly Zorbitals Zorb those sheep, the ones beginning with Z, um, and so that's just kind of getting underway, making myself some new slippers because the ones that a friend made for me um, about four years ago now are kind of giving up the ghost. Um, even darning can't bring them back from the brink now, so I'm making myself a new pair. Oh Hattie, you're standing on the bag. <coughs> My next work in progress is a pair of socks. Uh, these are for my best friend in a very, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, um, but pink and turquoise with a bit of sparkle. So this is the, the yarn. And this is by Truly Hooked on Etsy and it's Superwash Merino, Nylon and Stellina in the Blink colourway and I'm knitting these two at a time, cuff down 
um, on 2.5 millimeter higher higher sharps. Um, my Christmas Eve cast on socks, these ones, I knit cuff down, but I knit them, I started off two at a time, magic loop cuff down, um, and then switched them on to two small nine inch circulars, um, which I got for Christmas. Because um, I wanted to see, I want to have a play around with all the different ways of knitting socks and, and find the way that I like best. And I think it's magic loop two at a time. I think I, I've kind of decided on that. Whether it's cuff down or toe up, I don't know. I need to experiment. But I like two at a time on a magic loop. I like the small circulars for certain things um, and I used double pointed needles for the, the heels um, but I, I think I prefer the, the two at a time. So my next work in progress, I've decided to knit myself a jumper. Um, if you're watching in the States that means a sweater um, and I picked the I'm going to say it wrong again, but I'll put it in the show notes. Maryland. Um, and it's called Threshold. And this is what I've got so far. So this is the back um, with lovely twisted rib, which is really nice. I like that. Um, I'm almost at the point where I'm going to pick up stitches along here and then cast on stitches in the middle. And that's going to be the back and then the front will kind of mirror it. Um, this is in Stylecraft Life 4 ply. Really nice and soft. I love this grey colour as well. I've got a thing for grey at the minute. Um, and so that's going to be my, my kind of treat to myself. Um, I haven't knit myself a jumper before. Um, in fact I haven't hit anyone a jumper before so we'll see how that goes and my final work in progress my mum very kindly um, agreed that her Christmas present could be hideously hideously late and it's her sunny side cardigan which I've now separated out for the sleeves and mum's actually seen it because we um, I wanted to have a bit of a discussion with her. This cable pattern that runs down the front also runs each side of the sleeve and I wanted to know whether or not she'd like it as the pattern says and that it stops kind of underneath the sleeve and then it's plain further down or whether or not she'd like that back cable to run all the way down the cardigan and she said she'd prefer it how the pattern has it so that's cool um, she also said she didn't want any waist shaping in it she'd quite like a, a straight down cardi so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to kind of trundle on with that and hopefully get it finished for her in the early stages of 2016 I don't want it going too late um, because my mum's lovely and it was part of her Christmas present and she deserves to have it so Speaking of Christmas, <clears throat> for my lovely things, I got some lovely things for Christmas. Um, my parents-in-law bought me a set of higher hires, interchangeables, which is very kind of them. Um, I've already got one set in use. Hattie! Hattie found the crow out in the garden. She doesn't like crows out in the garden. It's her garden. We have to have a bit of a grumble at the crows, don't we? Silly puppy. Um, so yeah, so a lovely set of high hires. I also got from them some high hire sharp double pointed needles um, in 2.5 and 2.75. Um, they're the sizes I use most commonly for socks um, so yeah that's cool um, they've already come in very handy although I th think I've put 
one of the wrong size in um, so I need to go through and just double check that I've got them in the right packets um, my mum bought me um, two 2.5 millimeter higher higher sharp circulars which I knit my um, Christmas Eve cast on socks on um, which was fun and I think these will come in very handy and very useful um, she also made me a needle holder which is absolutely beautiful um, with daisies on the front and um, it ties up and then on the inside she's made it so that I can fit all my interchangeables in so I've got large pockets at the top medium pockets small pockets um, and then it all folds up and then ties up which is awesome um, and she made it which is really cool uh, we were doing quite a lot of homemade stuff for Christmas this year so yay I love it my husband <laughs> spoiled me um, he bought me some symphony double points the 10 centimeter ones so nice and small for doing heels and the such like and there's two millimeter 2.5 3 3.5 and 4 um, so that was really cool and he also bought me the three millimeter short tops <laughs> With the, I don't think you have this size dear no I don't but I do now thank you very much the other thing that he got me which has been so much fun was this I have wanted one of these for ages and I love it it's so much fun so much fun I spent a whole day while I was poorly just putting everything into balls so I just I literally just that one went a tiny bit wrong but I literally just spent the whole day turning my skeins into balls and it was so much fun and it was really interesting to see how the colours kind of how the yarns changed in, in terms of what you think they're going to look like and it all kind of changes when they get all balled up but I love, I especially love this one this is from um, fondant fiber New York in the dark on Bronte base super wash merino super fine alpaca and nylon and I had my mum squish it over Christmas and feel it and kind of put it next to her face and smush it and um, she didn't have any reaction to it so this is going to be a pair of socks for my mum but I just I love I love how skeins look when they're in balls so much nicer than my hand wound balls so yeah i've had loads of fun with that <laughs> um, he also bought me my husband spoiled me for christmas one skein wonders for babies we've got lots of friends who've either just had babies or are expecting babies in 2016 and i thought this would be an excellent book to have um, it's full of really cool ideas he also bought me Sock Architecture by Lara Neal, which I've already used a lot. Um, and I just, I love how easy it is to follow. I'm, I'm really in, kind of enjoying how much of a good resource this is. And yeah, yay. Brownie points for the husband. And Boho Crochet. I um, took a copy out of my local library and I've been using it so much um, and really enjoying the the patterns in there um, that he bought me my own copy so I never have to give it back I've given back the library copy obviously but um, and he also got me yay sock rulers um, the child's one and the adult one um, which is really cool and I've already used uh, I've already used the adult one um, with my own socks um, just to make sure that I was getting the right measurement because I've been measuring with the tape measure and it it hasn't been particularly um, accurate um, and I have ended up with some funny sized socks in the past so yay for sock rulers 
And the final things in, um, in lovely things, um, on Boxing Day, Felt Fusion were, had a market night on Facebook. So I treated myself to two skeins of lovely, gorgeous, beautiful yumminess. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's a place in New Zealand. Oetaroa. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Kind of purples and pinks and blues. Um, which is superwash merino and nylon. And also Tizzy. Um, this is also going to be a pair of socks for my mum. And um, this is the Superwash Merino and Bamboo, um, which my mum again had no problem with. And her dog is called Lizzie, and um, we call her Busy Lizzie, Tizzy Lizzie. Are you getting in a Tizzy Lizzie? And um, I just, I love this, and my mum really loves bright colours, so I thought that that would make a really nice pair of socks for her. On to spinning. Um, my husband and my sister in law both bought me spinning kits for um, for Christmas which was really cool um, my husband bought me this one which is a Heidi feathers kit um, and I've been trying to make myself a little rainbow um, thread so I've basically been taking a little bit of each one and then doing practicing my joins. It's been really good for practicing my joins and I'm I'm getting a little bit better <laughs> at consistency. Um, but having lots and lots of fun. My sister-in-law bought me um, a lovely box from Bakewell Hearts um, on Etsy and it's got all sorts of different things in it so it's got some some practice fiber it's got some bats which has a bit of sparkle in all nice and blue and lovely blue is my favorite color so um and some rolex um they came with a spindle which i decided i was going to try spinning some of the gray coriadale that i bought from fondant fiber so and it smells so sheepy it's lovely um and these are my efforts so far not very consistent um it's quite interesting going from one type of wool to another type of wool and kind of finding that for some wools you you have to draft a lot more and um i kind of i'm a bit rough with it i kind of overdraft and i've got quite a lot of snaps kind of breaks in the um the fiber going on so lots of joins and my spindle started spinning backwards at this point <laughs> so um it's it's a learning process and i'm quite enjoying it um i kind of don't know what to do with this so if anyone's got any advice i mean can i can i wind it onto something to hold it before i wash it and and kind of turn it into actual yarn that's actually usable um, because I'd quite like to use the spindle for I'd quite like to have a go at some of the Rolags um, and I'd quite like to use the spindle but I kind of this isn't done yet I kind of want to do some more on it um, so if anyone's got any advice can I roll it onto something else um, that would be greatly appreciated um, so yeah so having lots of fun with spindles and spinning for 2016 like I said 2016 is going to be the year of enjoyment um, it, it's just one of those things that my husband and I are finally getting time to, to take for ourselves and everything's kind of settled down which is really nice and we're going to go on honeymoon so this year is just all about the fun all about the enjoyment um and i hope you'll enjoy it along with me so thank you very much for tuning in um happy new year to everyone you can say bye haps 
say bye. Bye. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next time.